Since its establishment in 1950, Kawasaki Steel Corporation has consistently been among the leaders in new steelmaking technologies. With a crude steel output of more than 10 million tons a year, the company is also among the top 10 steel producers in the world. But Kawasaki is not just a steel producer. In recent years, we have actively expanded into new fields of business, with particular emphasis on our strong engineering division. Kawasaki's two main production bases, the Mizushima Works in Western Japan and the Chiba Works near Tokyo. The company itself carried out all the work involved in the construction of these two major integrated steelworks, gaining important experience and technical know-how. The engineering division's capabilities include the full range of steel plant engineering services, from design through construction, operational guidance and training. They also cover civil and general construction work, including utility-related projects, and the supply of equipment. In electric furnace steel production, the division has accumulated a wealth of technological expertise over years of close cooperation with three affiliated electric furnace makers, Daiwa Steel, Tohoku Steel, and Toyohira Seiko. This video focuses on a steel production facility that's now arousing widespread interest, the Direct Current, or DC, electric furnace. The reason for this interest is that, compared with other steel-making facilities, the electric furnace requires less investment in equipment, allows scrap to be recycled, and is more productive. The principle of electric furnace steelmaking is to generate a direct electric arc between the scrap or charge and electrodes inserted into the furnace and thus melt the charge. In the past, alternating current was used. Today it's possible to produce a stable supply of high power direct current. Because the performance of DC furnaces is superior to that of their AC counterparts, an increasing number of steel mills have adopted the DC system. What advantages does a DC furnace offer in comparison with the AC type? With an AC furnace, three electrodes are used to generate electric arcs of 6,000 degrees Celsius. At this temperature, the arcs gradually burrow their way into the charge. In this process, the electrodes have to be raised and lowered repeatedly to prevent short-circuiting between them. But with a DC furnace, overcurrents present no problem. Not only is all the power concentrated in a single electrode, but the burrowing process is almost instantaneous, since the electrode generates an extremely hot arc of 8,000 degrees Celsius. When the furnace bottom electrode is positively charged, the heat around the molten charge in the furnace can be increased even further. There's virtually no need to raise and lower the electrode because the charge melts in a concave shape. Refractory damage is frequently a problem in three electrode AC furnaces since hot spots form on the furnace wall opposite each of the electrodes. But with the DC furnace, the single centrally located electrode radiates heat uniformly in all directions. And there are other advantages too. Electrode consumption is about 50% less because fewer electrodes are used. Power consumption is about 10% less because the DC furnace melts the charge faster and more uniformly. And refractory consumption is reduced considerably because hot spots are not a significant problem.
liquors are reduced by half in the DC furnace because the maximum variation in reactive power is only 60 to 70 percent of that in AC furnaces. This is Daiwa Steel's Klesin Kawasaki DC furnace, installed using engineering services from both companies. Capable of producing 125 tons of molten steel in just one heat, this large DC furnace can handle hot metal from the blast furnace as well as scrap. The vertical movement of the upper carbon electrode is precisely controlled in response to data transmitted from the continuous location detector and the thyristor controller and in accordance with other process timing information. This DC furnace consistently produces high quality steel, demonstrating not only its proven advantage in uniform melting, but also low unit consumption of electrodes, electric energy and refractory material. This system was originally developed by the France Iron and Steel Research Institute, or IRSID. IRSID has granted Klesim the exclusive right to use its patented technology, as well as a sub-licensing right. Based on Daiwa Steel's success with the technology, Kawasaki Steel obtained exclusive rights to sell conventional depth IRSID DC furnaces in Japan. The system can be marketed overseas by Kawasaki with the consent of Klesim. Unlike the AC type, the DC electric furnace is equipped with a bottom electrode. Stable long-term operation depends on the maintainability, durability and safety of this key component. The IRSID DC furnace is equipped with a special bottom electrode system which optimizes operating performance. A round steel billet is used as the core of the bottom electrode. The lower part is covered with a copper jacket. The copper jacket is cooled with water and this provides indirect cooling for the entire bottom electrode. Temperature sensors installed at heat sensitive points in the furnace give the operator total control over the temperature at these locations and a good indication of the service life of the furnace bottom. This unique and highly efficient bottom electrode replacement system was developed by Kawasaki Steel. The bottom electrode, its peripheral refractory components and the lower part of the furnace shell form a separate module which can be removed and installed as an independent unit. It is carried to and from the furnace by a dedicated bottom changing device mounted on a ladle transfer car. The DC system's cooling performance extends the life of the furnace. The bottom changing system enhances operational efficiency and facilitates maintenance. One problem which Kawasaki's engineers had to solve was deviation of the DC arc. The arc deviates from the furnace center due to electromagnetic forces, causing both hot and cold spots on the furnace wall. To prevent arc deviation, Kawasaki developed a method of individually regulating the electric currents supplied to each of the three furnace bottom electrodes. In this way, the arcs can be controlled independently. With this innovative method, if a hot spot appears on the furnace wall, the arc causing it can now be moved in the direction of a cold spot. 
Active arc control ensures uniform melting. This large capacity oxygen and carbon injecting system can be operated by just one man. Other devices, including the electric current optimizing controller, are also remote controlled. Kawasaki Steel has designed a control system in which all the furnace operations are monitored by a host computer. With all data visually displayed by this imaging system, both monitoring and safe, streamlined electric furnace operation have become a reality. The Klesin Kawasaki DC furnace has won an outstanding reputation, not only for its uniform melting performance, but also because the bottom electrodes are highly reliable and easy to maintain. Based on the DC furnace's proven operational performance, orders have been placed by Daiwa Steel for its number two furnace, Tung Ho Steel of Taiwan and Essar of India. As well as furnace-related facilities, Kawasaki Steel can also provide the basic design for a complete electric steel plant, including total construction management, comprehensive plant engineering, operational guidance, and training. Based on the wealth of know-how it has built up over the years, Kawasaki Steel's engineering division is continuing to pioneer new advances in DC electric furnace steelmaking.